Nicole Kupchik and welcome to 10 Minute Tidbits. Today, I'm here with Tom Aarons. Tom, how are you? Oh, great. Do you guys know Tom Aarons? He is, just so you guys know, is like, he's like the god of hemodynamics. In my own mind. The king. <laughs> the king of hemodynamics. Exactly. But I'm really excited to talk, uh, chat with Tom. Tom has started a new business venture. Yeah. Would you please tell the group, yeah, the sorry. audience, what you're working on? The, uh, you know, as, as I go further in my career, get older, uh, you know, you look at what we want to do with life. And we work very hard to help take care of patients, to make sure they're done the best possible, use the best evidence. And sepsis is one area that it worked extensively in. Yeah. Um, but you know, 80% of sepsis comes in through the emergency department. So where does that mean it's starting? It's starting in the community. So we've built a evidence-based program. It's fun, it's interactive, it's short, but it's designed to teach the public about infection prevention and sepsis. Wow, okay. So let me just kind of get this straight. So your idea is take it back to just the lay people. That's right. Teach them about. That's right. About what? Uh, really, it's about avoiding infections. If okay. you don't have an infection, you don't get sepsis. Imagine that. And okay. you know some simple things. Keep this finger clean because this finger goes in your mouth. It goes in your nose, and it's going to transmit bacteria and viruses. Okay. Are you kind of like the police when it comes to certain things? <laughs> because I'll admit I am. You know what drives me nuts is when you're at like buffet. Not that we go to buffets, but you know, like there's open food and people just grab food with their hands. Yeah. I literally will like lose my, you, you know, what. You can't I'm eat doing. there because they've just touched everything. <laughs> the uh, buffets are a good example. Uh, what we do is we put people in real scenarios uh, okay. in an airport. So we put them in an airport scenario. Oh, so Think of airport. what is contaminated on an airport. With well, the airport or airplane? The airplane, good point. Oh, they both are, oh yeah. Uh, the, an airport, think of the, uh, every time you put something in that bin that's going to go through, you know, the uh, x-ray machine. How many times do they clean that? I've never seen them oh, clean. Tom, so what's I just there? got new visuals. So. <laughs> okay, all and right. Think of, you're sitting in an airplane seat, uh -huh. drop down table. When's the last time that been clean? Every time I fly, Good for you. I Good for you. keep my, my little like little sandy wipes, it. and I and people look at me like I'm crazy, and, and they'll be like, "You want one?" And, and they'll always be like, "Yes." Well, and see, that's that's the way it should be. Uh, you meet somebody new, shake their hands. Well, that's four times more likely to transmit a bacteria or virus than just fist bump. Or should, we elbow, bump. should we elbow? Elbow is even bump, better. Fist, so you get fist bump. Yeah, okay. fist bump. <laughs> Keep your fingers clean. Uh, that's the bottom line. And so that's our program. It's yeah. fun. We, we have a hospital version, for example, that we partner with the Sepsis Alliance on. Uh, where you go into a hospital, what do you do in the waiting room to keep yourself safe? Yeah. What do you do when you go into a patient's room to protect the patient as well, well as that's yourself? That's a good point, yeah. Because we don't know how many infections are transmitted to patients from visitors. That's but interesting. we know it's possible. Yeah. Uh, because our immune system's not up to par. Absolutely. Yeah, it totally makes sense. How many times have our staff got sick from a visitor? Yeah. We don't know. So how do you deliver this education? That's oh, so a great question. That was a like, great question. It's on a, okay. it's just on a it's a web based platform. Uh, it's it's a very simple simulation program. Okay. So people will go into a like I said a, a mini city or a hospital and then encounter things. Online. Online. Okay. And so what you'll see is like there'll be, uh, uh, let's say that you're in a cafe, and think of the table you're sitting at. Uh -huh. and think of when's the last time that table was clean. Or what was it clean with? Uh, well, yes. Oh <laughs> I don't know. But the idea is so then you'll you'll take on the antiseptic wipe from you know the illustration, and then you got to find all the bugs that are on there. Oh, and so you see these little animated bugs moving around, okay. and you have to get them. The whole point of that is, is you teach through engagement. Okay. Because, and for example, hand washing. Uh, how many times have we been told to wash our hands? We know to wash our hands. We don't do it. Not so often. You and I probably do because yeah. we're aware of this. But the whole point being is that we make situations that you then have to do something. Okay. Uh, kids, we have a school program. 
I love that. So this program is not only for adults, but also no. for kids. It's actually probably better for kids, because uh, they oh, like games, yes. and this is kind of a game. How, what a cool, but have you ever been around a kid, though, who's no. been taught properly? And they're like, they are just dogmatic. They can be, and they, yeah. you know, they'll correct you. Yes, they will. <laughs> and they'll and they'll correct you. Mom, wash your hands. That's right, <laughs> and that's awesome. If we can get the kids to do it, we've, yeah. we've developed a lifelong learner. Okay. And uh, that's really our goal. So we've really launched this year. Uh, our goal is to get every country to do this. Obviously, we're starting okay. in the U.S. Uh -huh. We have some countries that are interested in adopting it state nationwide. Okay. That's going to be cool. Uh, but we need help. We need people yeah. to start to look at the program. Okay. What's uh, the name of your, of your, um, your company? Um, How will they find you? Yeah, this, the company is Vivin Health. So uh, D-I-V-E-N yeah. Health. Okay. Very What's simple. your website? We have a couple of them. If you want to get a good example, I'd go to sepsisprevention.org. Okay, we'll put that in the, the notes. Okay. And that's the one we partnered with the Sepsis Alliance. Our goal on that one is to reach the 100 million people who visit hospitals every year. That's a lot of people. And so you look at like okay. emergency departments. I mean, look at all the people sitting there where they have time. And so we make it real simple for them. You just wave your code or your phone over a QR code uh -huh. and it takes you right to the website. You don't have to sign in or anything. Okay. Uh, we don't collect personal data. We're really trying to teach. Okay. Um, and so it's a simple, fun program. So if you, let's say you are like Starbucks and you're like, oh, I want to purchase this for all of my employees. How would they contact Oh, that'd be you? awesome. Starbucks, are you listening? <laughs> Boeing, that's, Costco, I'm maybe going to Seattle, right. Amazon. Well, How would they get a hold of you? The first thing to tie into that before I answer is you do this, it'll cut down sick days. Oh, there is some, okay, that's, that would be a major ROI. ROI. That's the ROI. Turn Reduce, on investment, okay. Yeah, if you want to not have sick time, and moms, for crying out loud, this is more important for you than anybody. Keep your, your child safe, healthy. You don't have to call in sick. You don't have to take a day off work to take care of the child. Uh, and the most common reason kids miss school, and even adults, is because of things like the cold and flu. Which maybe we, they can avoid. They absolutely can avoid. Yeah. You won't stop it, but you can reduce the number. Okay. And that's really our point. So if you want to learn more, uh, again, I would just go to vivinhealth.com, okay. and uh, I think on there somehow you can contact us. <laughs> somehow you can contact us. So we'll put the websites um, in the, uh, the show notes below, so if you're interested, or we'd love for you to share it. We'd love for you Absolutely. to share and, uh, Absolutely. and maybe tag Tom Aaron's Vivin Health uh, yeah. in your share. So you know, I always get Nicole, too. She knows how to reach me, and yeah. she can help as well. Yeah, so I'm really excited because I think really... I, I love your idea of prevention because I think in the United States we are so Absolutely. reactionary. Absolutely. We're like, you get septic, let's focus on sepsis that's versus right. let's not even get yes, you there. That's right. You know, like, but a novel idea. That's so. exactly right. Get a vaccination for crying out loud. Uh, get, your simple, flu get your flu shot, get your pneumonia vaccine. Yeah. Do things like that that will help you not get sick. Um, and you're absolutely right. The United States has got to be better about how we prevent sick. We can get we can. So, we absolutely okay. can. So, all right. Well, Tom, thanks for sitting down and chatting. So, again, it's called Vivin Health. I'm Nicole Kupchik. This is Tom Aarons, and this is 10 Minute Tidbits.